gonna tell you a story I'm gonna tell you about my town I'm gonna tell you a big fat story, baby This is Boston Comedy Festival Radio And la Andy Kindler All the hits all the time, Andy Kindler Hits from the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Andy Kellis coming to the Boston Comedy Festival next week. Come on, everybody, get down to the Oberon. <laughs> I it went from a DJ to something weird. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I got a little nervous. <laughs> I got nervous. That it was going to be a black it, thing, or I don't it, know what uh, I was doing. Okay, no, we're good. We're I was in, entering a new a new era for me. A new, I was I was channeling Robin Williams. 1960s black guy. <laughs> and the black guy's going, Oh man, river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're all just a society deciding not to even think about that anymore. It's like, <laughs> right, we, we, that didn't we happen. Turned, <laughs> we turned the page. I didn't laugh at even, that in the 70s. I might have. Hey. Uh, yeah. Think about how far we are from uh, when he uh, when someone when he started the laugh meter. How the crowd was, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the laugh <laughs> meter. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, can we do now? If you do the laugh meter, are you sued by his people? Yes, he sues me. There, his people are suing me for comments I made many, many years ago. No, no, no. I think I think the heat's off me in general. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any heat. Well, let's put an end to that right now. Let's That's bring the heat right. back. I haven't slept at all, obviously. Obviously, well, I just assume that. <laughs> I don't That's think you. I, I never think of you as sleeping. I think of you just like drinking coffee and perched on the end of your bed like a bird, <laughs> watching three t- watching three TV simultaneously. I hate this show. I also hate this show. <laughs> I'm telling you, someone told me I should start watching Al Jazeera, and I'm ready to do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, uh, you toured the country as Al Jazeera. Am I wrong? I can't talk normally anymore. It's over. <laughs> what were your wedding vows like? I do. <laughs> well, that's that's well, Kevin Meany. That's Kevin Meany's. <laughs> I do. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, I actually used to have a joke about how, uh, you know, do you take this woman for, you know, for sickness and health? And uh, Can I hear the choices again? Andy, you know what? I just realized I'm being rude. We're, we are we have a, a voyeuristic comedian who's very funny. Who's also on the show, and I haven't told you. Comedian? She's, what are you? Ninety? She's, she's a comedian. <laughs> she's wearing a Victorian dress. Okay. Now you know. She's Who a, is it? I can't, she has a clutch. I someone laughing. I someone it, laughing. It, it, it's Susie Berlin. Hi, Andy. Hi, Susie Berlin. Hi. Have we, we know each other somehow, right? No, we don't. Oh. I know, you do the I old, know of you, but... You do the Billy, Billy Crystal thing. Have we ever... Uh... <laughs> oh, is that what he does? No, in, in uh, that movie, was something about uh, Larry. I forget the name of it. But uh, oh, he, mean... he's, he's making a, uh, a fist gesture. Did we ever... Uh... <laughs> oh, you're talking about Harry and Sally. Yeah, Harry and Sally. Harry met Sally. And she's horrified. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> when Harry met... Those were the days before the hilarious send them up that was... The Comedians with Billy Crystal and everybody's favorite, Josh Gad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Susie, it's nice to meet you. Uh, uh, there are many famous Berlins, but none of them are related to you. None of them, no, just me. Well, there's not many famous. There's not a, a, a no. million of fam- Well, well, there is. There's, uh, there's Irving. Yeah, but the, what I'm thinking of is Jeff Berlin, who nobody knows what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. There's Irving Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting it's a very common name. There's a there's a there's right small here. city in Germany yeah, we bombed back in the forties. Uh, that one named it's Berlin. Just Berlin, but you know. Oh, I think I thought you your last name was Roskenskeller. <laughs> I don't know. What Guilty. Luft, Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of, see, well, I'm, I, I want people to get to. I want yeah. people to get to know to know Andy Kindler or Don know He's very funny, and he's going to be at the Boston Comedy Festival. Yes, and he's responsible. Like it took. He had a, a, a comedy jihad with uh, Jay Leno from Boston, and it took him thirty <laughs> years. Eventually, Jay just quit. I don't know if he's staying in his garage now. He won't well, come out of the garage. Happy. Well, you know that he has a car now that runs on the energy from his patented head shake. <laughs> <laughs> 
He has a car just where he stores his hamburger buns. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now, now that Jay's off the off, now who's who's who are you disliking now? Oh. Who's driving you nuts? I probably Jimmy. I don't know. I guess I'm tired of going after Jimmy Fallon. Uh oh. So maybe I have no enemies now. Maybe oh. I've uh, turned the corner on it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we got to cancel your dates then. <laughs> <laughs> your dates are canceled. Well, Bill, You're happy. Bill, you found bliss. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, Bill Maher. No, I, I, st- I do despise, deeply, deeply despise Bill Maher. Deeply. Why? The deep dispersion. Because of his anti-Muslim. Thing. Oh. I can't it. Okay. I have Muslim friends. They're okay. actually very lovely people. Yes. They don't want to talk about uh, Sharia law like right. uh, Bill Maher thinks. It's not a law. It's more of a guideline. <laughs> are you the bo- are you the Boston? You sound like a uh, like a Boston. Uh, uh, I don't know. Somebody at a mosque trying to uh, moderate it. Somehow. Fellas, Look. these are not yeah, laws. Not. They're more guidelines. <laughs> well, you know, I said I, I had a joke. I said uh, I had a joke. You remember, Jim? Remember? I remember them uh, all. Uh, but the joke was that uh, there's a lot of anti-Islamic sentiment, and I want to say to the Jewish person, thanks for the breather. <laughs> a lot of my jihad, uh, a lot of my uh, Islamic projects have been canceled. My jihad energy drink is not going to go. <laughs> my Ramadan noodles oh, not going to fly. I love that. <laughs> my I know Islamic version of the Three Stooges with Muhammad, Larry, <laughs> and a second Muhammad. Good oh, night, Good Boston. night. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Try reds. <laughs> now, uh, now, have you been watching any of the primary season? Yeah, I'm. A, you know that I'm a die. I'm a, I'm a dyed in the wool uh, Democrat. I think that used to be called a Republican was dyed in the wool, right? Mm-hmm. Because Democrats in those days couldn't afford coats. You might be more polyester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more Pollyannish. Yes. And we'll be back with the wordplay show. Yes. Uh, on Boston <laughs> W Booby Bang Bang Boom. That's it. <laughs> Zippity doo da yay. Uh, what was the question then? Because I have ADD. Well, I swear I, to God. Well, I we were talking the about the. Uh, I'm wondering if you're watching the debates. If you. you oh yes. Feelings. I watched every single one. Every single one. Yes. And how are you scoring them? Uh, I score them. Uh, the I like two new teams. <laughs> Couldn't we get two <laughs> new teams? Don't you go? Right. It's the horrible against the miserable. Like mm-hmm. what's the. <laughs> Well, I think John. I mean, sometimes John Kasich sounds reasonable, but then, all, then you know, he's talking about legalizing pot as being a problem. And anybody who doesn't want to legalize pot at this juncture in time mm-hmm. should have to leave the country. And are get you back in line? Get are you one? Of, are you line. one of those? Are you one of those hypocrites that's against fast food but for smoking pots? <laughs> no, I'm for, I, I'm for fast food. In fact, I, I, I can't. I'm not a big the fan of that supersize me guy. Oh, really? If you go to McDonald's. 45 times a day for, uh, <laughs> and you eat, eat 29 Whoppers, you'll gain four pounds. I'd have Thank a, you. What's I'd, the next movie? I'd like to have a 64-ounce stroke, please. 64-ounce <laughs> stroke. Stroke, no, no ice. Stroke. Yeah. Well, I had one. That's why I can't speak. It's, it's setting in now. The sl- uh, she made the stroke. Do you hear it? He's on the radio. She, Andy. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> is, that post, is that you post-stroke? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. That's not going to be a bit. You're going to get a lot of letters. I know. <laughs> but they're, it's hard to read that writing on the stroke letters. Well, look, I happen to, my bread and butter is playing uh, stroke uh, victim corporate events. So I'm not getting any. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not getting involved I'm not in getting. This. That's my bread and butter. Wouldn't it's, that be it's, it's your bread and extra butter. <laughs> and bread and extra butter. <laughs> I do a lot of uh, dementia <laughs> work these yes, days. Right. Okay. But the other day, do you remember the word senile? Mm-hmm. Those yes. are the days, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like smile, right. in a way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> note, hey, note to everybody in this conversation, lose the senile bit. <laughs> <laughs> the senile chunk. <laughs> you just lost the elderly vote. <laughs> yeah, I just, hey, that's, you know the what? The silver I'm foxes. Jim, you told me I wouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing all prostate jokes now. I'm all doing, uh, <laughs> of course, what do I know? I just had my gallbladder removed. <laughs> jokes like that. I'm doing Carter's little liver pills material. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, have you folks had this colonoscopy? Show a hand. Show a hand. This lady knows what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> Do you want to hear my new? I have a new guys, and you know, you know, men and women are different. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, Susan are they Brewer. different? I, I tell yeah, me so more. I have a whole chunk now. I don't believe women, you. Okay, let me, guys, um, guys and girls, men and women are different. Am I right? Who's with me on this? <laughs> yes, I'm with you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, women go to the bathroom in pairs, right? Mm -hmm. No, and they do. Off, right, and men are often verbally abusive, <laughs> and it comes out later in very strange ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just working on this bit, guys. Close right? with that. I know wow. there's something. You're kidding there. me? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Dogs and cats are different? Where does it end with you? <laughs> the Women difference. leave the toilet seat up, and men are still trying to crush all of White men are still trying to crush all of us through a patriarchal society. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. If you guys could write that bit, just uh, uh, yeah. it up, put it through the Boston Comedy put a, Lab, put a and bow tie on for it. me at the at the Oberon. I'll bring yeah. it. That's it. I'll now, it. Uh, Andy Kindler, not besides being a hilarious comedian, also is always working on new television projects. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have any? You have anything I, hot I just signed a deal. You did. Yes. Doing. You didn't hear about it? No. Oh. Well, everybody's got it. Hey, you both are now Bud Abbott, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, everyone's got to deal with Amazon these days. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just signed a deal with UPS Ground. <laughs> nice. I just signed a deal with FedEx two-day shipping. Uh -huh. It's called Do Not Ship Blood. It's a new show. It's a, it's a follow-up to There Will Be Blood. <laughs> Do not ship blood. You couldn't get the postal workers to work for a rate. <laughs> <laughs> They're worse than SAG. Yes. Hey, don't get me started on my union chunk. <laughs> my union chunk. <laughs> hey, look, the guy's here. He's pissed off. He's got a he's got a, a cargo hat and blue shorts. I don't know who he is. I yeah, for the Teamster, race. more like uh, I'm not on their team, stir. I don't know. <laughs> I got to work on it. You know what I'm saying? These are, they can't all be giant. I used to love how the old vaudeville comics did 40 horrible jokes. <laughs> and then one didn't work. They go, they can't all be gems, folks. <laughs> they can't all be. I don't think any of them were gems. <laughs> Up to this point, zero gems. <laughs> you know, my favorite Norm Crosby joke is uh, he used to do a joke. Why do kamikaze pilots wear helmets? I don't know, Norm. The war has been over for 65 years. Why would they still be wearing <laughs> That's right. I, Norm Crosby's going down today, Boston. Oh, yeah. He's from this area. Uh, oh, he is? Yeah, oh, yeah. Now, he's still alive and well. I oh, yeah. how old he, he is. We gave I him a wonder. Lifetime Achievement Award a lifetime ago. <laughs> 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 the first year of the festival. Yeah, yeah. The old festival. The year of our Lord, 1900 and <laughs> something. <laughs> I don't want to say I started a long time ago, but the microphone was made out of wicker. I don't Woo! want to say it was a long time ago, but when Norm accepted the award, he had a buckle on his hat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What his punchline was 23 skidoo. Because <laughs> he's got to be, what, in his 80s now, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, I can't yeah. believe people are allowed to be that old. I'm against it. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone thinks what? he's hysterical because he mis misunderstands all these words, the, the melanthrops. But right. it's like, he's not, no, he's not yeah. doing time. He's, right. just, he's just confused. <laughs> he's doing, <laughs> the malapropisms. But you know what I like? I like when Susie Berlin laughs deri derisively at the old. Yes. That's what I love. Yeah, she's got an issue. <laughs> Is that your birth name, Susie Berlin? It, no, it's not my birth name. Let's get Is to the it? bottom of this. No, let's not get to the bottom of this. Oh, there's shame oh, here. There's shame, the Andy. I smell shame. I'm already blushing. <laughs> oh, it's a, good, it's a great name. So I'm not going to It's not Leibowitz like uh, John Stewart, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your, yeah. Is your last name the same name that John Stewart was before he changed it? This is what I do. I, I try to hook my, my, my I try to hook my train my, my, my career to Andy Kindler. My name was, <laughs> yeah, my name was changed. A I want to be standing next ago. to you. I want to always be standing next to you while you're insulting <laughs> the mighty titans of comedy. Wait, 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 <laughs> so Isn't that the big guy Steve? that was with Andy Kindler? Scratch. <laughs> Get him off the show. <laughs> no, wait. I just drove him. I don't know him. <laughs> hey, Jim. Now don't tell me that McHugh is your stage name, because I'll tell you right now. <laughs> no. You went, the wrong, you went the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, right? man. Did I you make a mistake? You should have been Hammer. Yeah. Jim Hammer. Everyone kept saying, the Irish run Hollywood. The Irish run Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bad matchup. Man, were they wrong? <laughs> Remember the great lead 
actor uh, Eddie O'Leary. <laughs> I couldn't think of that's the most Irish thing. I could. Hey, didn't O'Leary? Uh, that's Chicago. I don't know anything about Boston. <laughs> that's all right. Nobody does. We're going to send you a pamphlet. <laughs> Just hey, like when you, just when you get some disease? horrible disease with a doctor, now they go here. Just read the pamphlet. Well, no, read yes. it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is, and maybe this is hacky, but why not get into it? You know, when they're telling you all those terrible things, like on a commercial about the drug, you know, oh, and your liver might turn into your face and your, uh, <laughs> right. your kidney. Your kidney might do a dance. <laughs> when they're doing that. Uh, there, it's very, very like uh, the uh, pastoral scenes they're showing in the commercial. You know, it's like, oh, those those guys are boating. Why would I care if I was boating? That my I, heart stopped. I know this is hacky because a guy from the cruise ship, uh, a passenger came up and he said, "You should do a bit about the lady. She's got a liver with eyes on it. It's a big <laughs> liver with eyes." I went, "That's actually kind of funny." She goes, "Yeah, is that her biggest problem?" <laughs> <laughs> she has to go to the bathroom? Well, of course she does. She's got a big liver with eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. You know, I actually had, I think, one of the better. I didn't ever do did it on stage. because, Well, maybe I did it a couple times, but I knew I couldn't do it. But I thought I had a, 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 not a bad version of the erectile dysfunction because they said, <laughs> well, not for, in real life. But they say, uh, after four hours, you should call your doctor. At three hours, I... Make plans, cancel my trip to the art museum. <laughs> hey, that guy really likes Miro. Three hours, I call all my friends. I spend the day drying towels. It's amazing. Yes. I high five my high school coach. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if am I getting into Denny Hastert material. I don't know. We're uh, stepping on territory. So, we will get letters from somebody. Yeah, and that's you the did my bit. Is, they'll come four weeks later. That's the best part about it. Right. <laughs> After we've already we're on to our next town. We're we're already the oh, morning. They're zoo. angry, but they can't leave the house for three hours. We're already gone. <laughs> yeah, we're right. already cashing checks and moving along. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the old days, mm -hmm. half of the angry letters never went out because they were like, did the mail go out today? All right, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> now they tweet you angrily. Yeah, and I'm, uh, and this is, uh, I'm getting a lot of this stuff like, oh, what do you mean you're not, uh, why aren't you answering my texts? I'm, you're on Twitter. That's not good. <laughs> man, you just heard him pull the shoot on that bit, didn't you? It's like right. He popped well, the hatch. <laughs> man, that's not good. Well, Jim, you remember in the old days when we had uh, the answering machine tapes? Oh, yeah. Yes. Tape. Yes. So it would fill up. It would fill up. Right. And then I'd throw it away. That's right. And i put a new one in. That's and it. nobody ever said, hey, did you get my uh, inst Instagram? Yeah. Right. I had that did you get my invitation to LinkedIn? Yes, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know you're on there, Jim. I'm on there. You're a roofer. You're on there. Hey, I'm a comedian roofer. I'm a comedy <laughs> roo in. roofing and supply. I'll fix the hole in your roof and do 45 <laughs> minutes in your family room. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever call him a... It wasn't in the movie Punchline. They go, you got to do side parties. That's how you knew that. Oh, yeah. They uh, didn't know what they're talking about. Wrote, non comedian <laughs> wrote that movie. No, the thing that angered, I think, everyone is... Uh, is Tom, the Tom Hanks character? It's the biggest break of his life. Right. He goes, I, I got all new stuff for tonight. <laughs> I got 45 minutes of new stuff. <laughs> I wrote it on the train coming over here. Oh, this is totally realistic. <laughs> oh, but you bought Sally Fields being transformed from a hack to the world's greatest. Oh, yeah. She's a housewife, but now she touched into her, her true feelings, and uh, oh John God. Goodman <laughs> forgave her right. for sleeping with a younger comedian. Mm -hmm. Can we just uh, say what really happened? What happened? She was, uh, yeah, you didn't read the book? Punchline the book? <laughs> in the book. In the book. What happened in the book? In the book, Sally oh, Fields yeah. was all over Tom Hanks for the whole oh, middle chapters. Yeah. In the book, the lockers <laughs> where they were, where they, uh, we know the part of the club where they take a shower. Yes. Right. Uh, in the book, that's much more spacious. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Hanks's manhood. I don't know. It was angry. His angry manhood. Oh, man. Can we say that on radio? They don't make, they don't make them like that anymore because oh. of legislation. I just, I just realized you can win any argument with somebody about a movie by God. Well, it was in the book. Yeah, right. Who's reading it? The book. <laughs> Star Wars, the book. I read the whole thing. You don't know. I heard you were arguing that with Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, you didn't read the book. Oh, you didn't read the book. If there's one woman who thought that movie was sexy, I don't want to talk to you ever again. Because yeah. I 
talk, role playing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. Yes, you're doing great. My, am I I'm playing the role of the self-deprecating comedian? <laughs> 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 Nobody saw that movie, right? That's one of those movies that didn't even really come out, right? No, I think there what were movie? gals that saw it that were into it. The fifty? No, I didn't read the book. Or, or she saw. She, it's just like her last name. It's she saw the movie. <laughs> She's got it's in her eyes, Andy. You're not here. She's like, oh, well, I gotta tell you something. I uh, saw the nothing movie. in the book I heard was really well written. So oh. that's where I'm going to start. The book. <laughs> yeah, it was really like, well written. You me and Andy, the kings people. of literacy. I heard. A, I knew a guy who read the book. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know the James. She got sued by James Joyce for plagiarism. That's how good the book was. That's how good it was. <laughs> Many times, James Joyce, they'd ring his doorbell. Can your wife come out? No, she's all tied up right now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I like that you thank them immediately. Yes. Without them I don't want to wait. Any chance, <laughs> any chance to react. I don't have any confidence in my material. I thank them before they can stare angrily at me. <laughs> well, I'm the, I just started to unveil. Try the Barada. You know what I'm saying? You gotta update your references. I, I'm ashamed to say I don't know what Barada is. Try the kale. Oh, now yeah. You would have done the best Cal McCall's Navy bit in the business. I got my my kale bit is they say that kale bit can help you if you have uh, trouble with your sex drive. But right. how, after eating kale, how bad can impotence be? <laughs> that's, absolutely, that's absolutely true. You made me that joke made me both not want to have sex. Or eat. Or kale. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it. I, you know, they make kale Caesar salad now, which is, add, talk, about, talk about adding insult to injury. I'm just doing rhythm humor now. There's no it's joke okay. at all. Yeah. We're using rhythm. the rhythm method. <laughs> <laughs> kale Caesar salad. Really? Uh, kale Caesar salad, yeah. That's what uh, they're doing. That's mm -hmm. what all the kids are eating. Yeah, they're they're just only in New York. They're going right? to live a long time in a burning impoverished world congratulations i'm not in new york i'm not in new york did you think i was in new york i'm in, i'm from new york but no, I'm i know LA guy. But i was thinking yeah i know you're an la guy now la guy yeah. that's how i that's my new catchphrase hey how you doing folks i'm la guy <laughs> that's true you know what there's probably more kill caesar in la than there is in new york it's just in my I, world i would think that would be something you'd combine better i don't know why Isn't i picture with an mi the, with a miami vice jacket when you're saying that impression i love that I thought it was Hail Caesar. <laughs> Kale Caesar? <laughs> Kale Caesar. <laughs> Some of you came here to bury Caesar. I came here for the Kale Caesar. <laughs> Why is the guy from New York? Why is that guy from New York? <laughs> hey, Caesar. I, did, I wanted a salad and they ended up killing this guy in a sheet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Caesar. You seen Nero? Have you seen Nero? He's fiddling. <laughs> He's fiddling. <laughs> Some guy's hands are nailed to the front door. I don't know what's going on with this restaurant. Andy Kindler is uh, <laughs> Sid Caesar in Caesar. <laughs> oh my God! I think I'm having a heart attack. What's your What's your dream comedy. role? If you could get If you could get cast in any part, Andy Kindler, what would it be? Well, you're bringing up a very uh, difficult subject to me for me because a lot of people say, Andy, why Why have you not had any movie roles? And they don't know that I'm the last person who's still blacklisted. <laughs> <laughs> Because I actually did, not only did I go to Communist Party meetings, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> McCarthy you know? was on his dead beds. He goes, keep one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Kindler never works. <laughs> I mean, it was, I was young. Don't forget. You know, everybody was like Ginger or Gilligan. Ginger, and I was like, Marx or Lenin. Marx <laughs> or Lenin, everybody. <laughs> That's before those Castro no, kids I, threw their little party down south. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just watched a documentary about uh, um, uh, Joe McCarthy. Not, yes. he, was not, he was not for me. No. Yeah, but you got to like anyone who uh, like hammers the desk while yelling. The Khrushchevs, the McCarthys, they, they bang the desk, mm -hmm. and you feel this has got to be the truth. <laughs> well, Khrushchev was the most effective because when a man takes a shoe, you're hitting he the, pounds it on yeah, the Yeah, you pole pull your doctor's shoe off and mm -hmm. hit the thing. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, then you go in the extra mile. That's the extra insult. <laughs> right. Cut to George W. Bush, 
dodging a shoe was the most coordinated <laughs> effort. That was the most heads-up effort. Who knew he had that entire... kind of foot quickness? Right. Foot speed. <laughs> <laughs> he was on a swivel, that guy. <laughs> that guy could duck. Nobody could duck like him. Although, you know, when your popular level, popularity level is at that point, you kind of expect a shoe at some point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, he went, thank God, it was only a shoe. <laughs> Well, that's why he was so quickly out of there. He had, he'd already been, uh, four shoes that had already been thrown at him that day. They just happened to film that one. <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> Mostly from the Secret Service. <laughs> it was at a Hush Puppies convention. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. Hush Puppies, who comes up with these references that are it. neither uh, current nor uh, interesting? <laughs> Me! I love Hush Puppies reference. That's you gotta love them. <laughs> But you're too young to remember P.F. Flyers. Jim McHugh and I, oh, yeah. we oh. wore P.F. Flyers. Yes, yes. I we wore dungarees. I love the fact that I'm too young to... You had to, to tie know. those up and... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And you, and you thought you were know. faster for a I, minute. Thank you. I can run faster with my new P.F. Flyers. Thank you. We had to call people on a transistor radio back then. I picture, a young, I picture a young Andy Kindler needing new P.F. Flyers to run from people. <laughs> Yeah, I need. Not well, towards in general, them. I needed a magic wedge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you had a couple of roots going home, right? <laughs> well, as I was watching my Mets lose, and I, I'll, I'll admit it to you, wasn't the greatest way to watch them lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought I thought about them because whenever people make errors and people get on them, I will never forget. Summer camp. I was 12 years old, and it was uh, the Olympics in summer camp. And they said, whatever you do, don't run inside those pylons, <laughs> which I proceeded to do mm -hmm. and lost a one-lap lead and lost the race for our team. Oh. And the other team chanted my name, oh. Kindler, 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 Kindler. <laughs> and that's Talk the last time now. anyone has yelled, Kindler. Oh. Kindler. Yeah, exactly. yeah, in any context. Even angry, it was good. Yeah, right. I mean, sure, now I'm a relief pitcher for the Phillies, but back then, it was traumatic. <laughs> wow. I was very short. That's my excuse for everything. Mm. <laughs> Want to play short Hollywood? Sure. Yeah, at six foot six, I like to, I like to out short people oh. that wouldn't let me work with them. Well, let's say let's pay, take people and see if I'm bit taller than them. Okay, back Who to back them? with Andy Kindler. Oh. That's your show. Back oh, yeah. to back with Andy Kindler. <laughs> hey, Tom Cruise, come here. Back to back. Hey, come here. Back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm five. As my friend calls me, I'm Cinco de Mayo, five five and a half. All right, that's good. Well, okay. So that's perfect height for Hollywood, right? Right. Oh, you you, you darn right. Because and still no parts. We've <laughs> 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 well, taken that excuse the off the field. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in a movie called Apple Box. I don't know if you heard of it. <laughs> Apple Box. The movie called Apple Box? Apple Box, which is a reference I thought everybody knew. But one time I got to go to the Yankees spring training mm -hmm. and uh, interview uh, Derek Jeter. Wow. He's like 12 feet tall. And I said, hey, I'm going to need an Apple Box. <laughs> he looked at me as if I uh, had said I just voted for Dukakis. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I'm, I'm still. Uh, hey, did I tell you? Uh, did I tell you guys that uh, my I have progressive lenses in my glasses. My glasses once voted for Dennis Kucinich. <laughs> Your contacts once voted for McGovern. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for the way back machine? My uh, yeah, my hard glass eye uh, contact lenses. <laughs> I got another show for you. It's called Andy Kindler Celebrities I've Angered. <laughs> Oh and, yeah, and then they'll, we'll have we'll have an act out. We'll have uh, people play the parts of the people. <laughs> yeah, because that's my big fear is in, uh, is the uh, it, it's not it's not the thing I say. Mm -hmm. It's the conference. I don't want the con the real life confrontation. <laughs> no, we'll get actors to play the role. Absolutely, that's what I'm talking about. You get a nice guy. You get a little big lug to play Jay Leno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, okay, yeah. Andy. It's okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm working on my yeah. car. I got to hear a joke about yeah. how terrible I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you do a better one. I, well, I don't do good impressions, but you got him down there. Yeah, you well, got him, baby. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know I could do it. In medical news. Mm -hmm. In medical news. I only do celebrities that are no longer working. Thank you. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it's Jim McHugh's comedy, Deceased Den. Come on in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, that's actually from like Woody Allen movie. Uh, oh, go into your uh, scrooners 
who uh, recently deceased. <laughs> <He's> telling, <laughs> I love that movie. He's telling Luke Canova what he should do. We'll take the usual money, which is whatever you might want to pay. <laughs> 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 to the girl with the glasses. <laughs> oh, God. And then when he tells, they, he gets accosted at that party, and they go, what do you think of this guy, uh, B.S. Pulley? He goes, oh, it's pretty funny. He goes, he takes his thing out and sticks it in a cigar box. <laughs> and then, you think that's funny? Goes, <laughs> he goes, is that funny? He goes, if you ask me, I'm Mr. Myron Cohn. <laughs> he immediately turns on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admire that ability. <laughs> oh, that's what's so... We all have that Broadway I'm the beard. I'm the beard. I'm the beard. <laughs> Or how about he goes, uh, what's your philosophy? She goes, you got you to gotta get them before they get you. And he's like, that sounds like a, that's philosophy. That sounds like a, uh, uh, something you say when you get, you get inducted into the mafia. <laughs> yeah, well, what do you do? He's at that party with all the thugs. He goes, what do you do? I'm in the cement business. <laughs> because usually people are in the cement business are, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we got a definite that? situation here. We got a definite situation here. Just in case it's Broadway Danny Rose, right? Yeah, it's Danny with yes. white roses. Yes, yes. He's the one. Yes, right. Danny with white roses. Just in case nobody knew. <laughs> that is really, I mean, that's, that's, that's not my exact fear in life, but that is like a fear. Like, you know, you try and get out of a situation and you end up getting somebody else. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you take a beating for someone else. Yeah, right. My uh, my father uh, once took a beating. He had five uh, boys in his family, and his father gave him a beating. And he, he says, it wasn't me. And the other kid admits to him. My father says to my grandfather. And my grandfather says, well, that's for something you did that you didn't get caught for. <laughs> <laughs> it makes so much sense in the moment. Yeah, right. yeah there's, there's no apology coming. <laughs> it sounds like real. You're guilty of uh, something. You know it, it and I know it. <laughs> Western ju- it's frontier justice. That's right. <laughs> wow. So listen, you excited about the Oberon? Yes. What's the Ober and Onder on the Oberon? Uh, the Oberon is in uh, it's in Harvard Square, not right Have near- I been there? You haven't. Oh, it's a new venue. It's a is new it venue. like a twelve seater? Something I can fill up? It's yes. hundred and ninety <laughs> seats of glory. Oh my god. And I'm i I'm bringing my usual guy, uh the uh Vinny to count to watch the door to count the numbers. <laughs> right. Yeah, count the numbers. He's going to have one of those changes that the ice cream men used to have for some reason. Uh, <laughs> this guy's saying he 174. I got 188. Unless those are all his cousins. Yes. <laughs> do you have? Do you kids remember? Or you do, Jim. Where they used to like the ice cream man. He would he would press on some uh, metal thing and the change would pop out. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, yes. I still I still use that when I go in the bank. They hate yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to go. Uh, it was coins. Uh, we used to buy things with. Never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, I used to for a nickel. And this is a true story because it's going to be boring. <laughs> but for a nickel. Now's your time for the rest break, listeners. <laughs> I would buy these. Uh, my ice cream man had pistachio nuts. They were red back then. They yeah. only came from Iran. Uh, and uh, they were red, and for nickel, you got like seven of them. You thought it was like uh, gold. Wow. Wow. I didn't know they sold them. That was part of the Obama's deal is, uh, we, you know, look, they got nukes, but we got red pistachios. Nuts on an ice cream truck? <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for, people. <laughs> well, now they're, both, now they're growing in California, but in the old days, they were just growing in Iran. Right. How old are you, Andy? Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember ice cream on an ice cream truck. I don't remember you could get nuts. No, no, that would, uh, no... Well, that used to be the. Uh, oh, good! He's going to tell us more. The <laughs> motto of my improv band: It's going to get n- mixed nuts. It's going to get nuts. I'm Philbert. I'm Walter. <laughs> I'm Cashew. Uh. Uh, oh, I, I I buried the lead. It's like Walter at the end when the, everybody thinks it's going to be Cashew. <laughs> uh, no, they, no, they that was just maybe a. a Something that my ice cream man had. Maybe it never really happened. Now that I'm thinking of it, I think I may. Well, we had two ice cream people. We had the good Yuma man, huh? Yeah. And then an independent guy. Yeah. Steve. That was the independent. Have you heard of him? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I think I met Steve. That was the big there's joy. A, I don't know. There's an Eddie Murphy bit childhood. here somewhere. Yeah. Well, ice I used cream. to have. I mean, that that was the, the highlight of my summer night. When I was a little kid, was getting the, uh, the ice cream man. Yeah. Right. right, and you hear the music, and you lose mm-hmm. your mind, and you run out the front door. Yeah. And... 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch kids, uh, kids with I, money. I don't have it. a bit about it, but it sure was scrumptious. <laughs> no, I, I think Eddie Murphy had a bit about that. His mother used to make the ice cream. Something. Oh, I know. He had like a hilarious yes. bit about how he wanted to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Oh. But then his mother wanted to make a hot dogs. I mean, uh, hamburgers at home. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. That was very funny. Uh. That was funny. Well, yeah, that was funny. Well, <laughs> call him. <laughs> What's the matter? Some with of me? these, some of these, you laugh later. You know. <laughs> Sixty-five degrees downtown Boston coming up in a half hour, giving away some Aerosmith tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to the Alley Killer at the Oberon Theater at Harvard Square. Tickets are still available for a show. And uh, don't worry, go, come down the night of the show. There's always room. <laughs> <laughs> There's a special prize for some lucky customer. <laughs> We're not saying what it is. This sounds exciting, this new theater, though. It sounds like it's going to be intimate. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, it's going. It's a really cool venue. It's right near Harvard Square. It's. Uh, it's really it's really intimate. It's really, it is, especially if we don't sell some tickets, it's going to be you and me, Andy. <laughs> Wait, how about the how about the plug on Conan? Didn't oh, that, uh... you know, I you know, I was I meant to lead off with that. Andy yes. Kindler be, is my favorite person on earth because he went on Conan O'Brien, mm-hmm. one of his many appearances yes. since uh, Letterman yes. fired him and quit his job, and uh, <laughs> and he plugged the Boston That's Comedy right. Festival, and I was so touched and honored he, that you did that. Thank touched. you. Jim was so touched. He's still touched. I, and I'm not the kind of person who brings it up again, but I will be 12 times while I'm there trying to get some free something from you. I don't know. We got a Barbecue. T-shirt. We got a T-shirt. What's the new got... T-shirt like? What do we got in the oh, hopper this year? Oh, they're amazing. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of positive feedback on the T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst pitch. This is not going to sell one ticket. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? You want forget the show. You want to no, see a no. T-shirt? <laughs> forget it. You don't even need to see Andy. Just the guy in the T-shirt at the door. That's worth twelve bucks. <laughs> this T-shirt Alone. will knock your socks, knock your socks off. <laughs> it's the only show in comedy where the people go just for the swag, not for the act. <laughs> yeah, you'll go for the swag. You'll, you'll stay, stay for, for the, the act, act <laughs> and you'll get very annoyed, and you'll get very annoyed, and you'll walk out angrily with your shirt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh. You won't lose your shirt at the Andy Gidler show. Woo. Come shirtless, leave happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come shirtless and get a free shirtless man. <laughs> two dollar with you. Two dollar discount for everyone who comes stripped to the hip. Oh. By the way, I don't. I didn't tell you this, Jim. I will be performing stripped to the hip. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I wor- I've been working out. And uh, the ladies love a man they're late. <laughs> tickets are, I'm watching tickets being sold as we speak. This Andy, is amazing. Andy Kindler, it, it, that's what famous it. for his work as the before guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shows up here, folks. Shows up here. Seriously, don't stare Hey, what at my color gut. are my eyes? <laughs> don't stare at my gut. It makes me uncomfortable. If you're going to cry, cry quietly. I got a show to do. Yeah, sure, I'm blubbery. But on the other hand, I'm not well. <laughs> That's the name of your next uh, comedy yeah. album for sure. Blubbery but not well. Blubbery but not well. <laughs> With Andy Kindler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. So, listen, uh, race fans, hot rodders, and uh, fans of comedy, mm-hmm. you, you got you to go to bostoncomedyfestival.com and get your tickets for Andy Kindler. And, yes. uh, you know, you. Your show is the show that all the comedians go to see. Yes, it's that not, makes me very happy to yes. hear that. Yeah, oh, well, I, I need. I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. I was talking to a, a, one of the best joke writers in the business, Emo Phillips. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, He's and he happy. was very. He said, "I'm just sad. I would lo- I'd love to have seen Andy Kindler." Yeah, yeah, he said. The way that. it sounds like that, I'm dead. I died. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> did you ever get a chance to see Andy Kindler live? Uh, oh, that would have been nice. Yeah. He's something. Oh. So nice. He yeah. passed away in his uh, in his chicken soup the weekend before the boss of the gobbly <laughs> <laughs> Chicken soup. <laughs> his, chicken his soup. last words were, I, don't, I think those are generic oyster crackers. <laughs> <laughs> we told him, Andy, pain meds and chicken soup, it's a bad combination. <laughs> I'm actually very scared, Jim, that my last, uh, I don't want there to be a TV on when I die because I don't want my last words to be, can you please turn Jimmy Fallon down? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I just... One more song parody. Uh, he would have been well. Uh, Who the heck is calling? It's Jimmy Fallon's oh, people. I'm sorry. I was oh, going to do that no, afterwards. Yeah, I, 
I should probably not take calls during my interviews. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I encourage people to take calls during my show. <laughs> oh, I tell people, whatever you do, don't Google nearest comedy club. Anything else is fine. <laughs> <laughs> nearest comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Shazam me. Closest <laughs> exits. Act. Yeah. Nobody got the phone number off of that ringtone, did they? Oh, or that. Oh. That's a, that uh, you know, I know, I know you're going to be hysterical because he has to be. He's got in-laws here. Oh. And that added, oh, added pressure. What about the outlaws? Yeah. Am oh. I right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this next song yeah. from the outlaws, 1974. All of a sudden, I saw the birth of a young Andy Kinla act <laughs> with the puns. I can't wait. I'd like to do this next joke when my mother-in-law's here. So just you know, you figure it out. I there's a guy with a young... thing, and there's a woman, and uh, yeah. anyway. <laughs> well, you know, Henny Youngman, before he died, and he is dead, so don't even check. He did this joke that, to me, the whole joke was, if the word's an anachronism is correct. The joke was, I went, today I went on a pleasure trip. I took my mother-in-law to the airport. Now, there's nothing in those sentences that anyone currently could relate to. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody does mother-in-law jokes. Nobody knows what a pleasure trip is. Right. No one goes drives anyone to the airport. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. My Lyft driver. Uh, it's crazy. My Lyft driver. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, you know, I just got a phone, a cell phone first time ever this year. So, if anything, I'm slow. Oh, well, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, I like the idea that you're old school. Phone. Not even a flip phone. So She's is, cool. She lives in the city. She's got I, friends that read, you it, know. Yeah, it's my very first cell phone ever. So, you know. Can you imagine how uh, the show, how long the show Entourage would have taken <laughs> if they didn't have cell phones? <laughs> All right, Ari, call me in 10 minutes. All right, I'll have to pull off the turnpike <laughs> and find a phone booth. I got to call Ari, but I got no change. <laughs> yes, I'll pull off. I'll go, pull off. Exit go. 63. Go, there's a laundry mat there. You'll get change. Yeah. <laughs> laundry. I like that. I always say laundry mat. That's what it should be. Yes, it should yeah. be. I just got in a conversation with somebody about yeah. that yesterday. It should but be. But then the laundro people bought them out. Yeah, I know. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm killing myself. I'm killing myself at home with uh, with uh, with uh, I'm wearing uh, spats, dungarees, and overalls. No. I'm, I'm I'm dressed as Larry King. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hello. Hello. I text for the him entire him. hour. Adolf Hitler. Adolf. And he, uh, Adolf, you were a vicious dictator. I need new projects coming up. <laughs> I have the highest ratings on CNN. Just my ex-wives alone. Have you seen he does? He just does an infomercial now, right? For yeah, but they set it up to look exactly like the real show, which never looked like a real show. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I finally figured out why he says the name of the town and the reason. And uh, tell me if I'm wrong, because this way the person who's on hold knows it's going to them. That's why it's so annoying. <laughs> the last forty years. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Hello. And you know, there's like three people in the other room. Uh, so, uh, Cleveland. Say it's Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland, Say, Ohio. Hi, Hello. Andy. It's Tony with a high voice. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question I'd like to ask. I have a question. Mr. Reagan. <laughs> he would get so mad if you didn't ask the question. Hey, what's your question? Uh, you have a question? What's your question? Don't make a statement. You have a question? <laughs> <laughs> what's your question for Jean Jacques Gabor? <laughs> ja -ja. Oh man! Uh, my favorite thing I ever saw, and it was a non sequitur, was Don Rickles. This is my favorite non sequitur of all time. This is word, pretty much word for word. It was Don Rickles and the satellite, and Larry King's like, my guess is Don Rickles. Don Rickles, you're a very, very funny comedian. A lot of people want to know why don't you do more acting? Do you have any acting roles coming up? And Don Rickles says, Larry, you're a Jew. <laughs> you're a Jew, Larry. You're going to come down to Las Vegas when I'm performing, and you're going to come backstage and suck the tablecloths up through your nose because they're free. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so that's all. I, anytime I feel bad, I turn to somebody and go, Larry, you're a Jew. <laughs> you're a Jew, Larry. You suck up the tablecloths because they're free. <laughs> He's still working. He's still working in Vegas. Well, you know, my dad passed away. I don't want to bring everybody down, but uh -huh. I am doing a bit about my 
I've been doing a bit about it because, you know, my, my dad would have wanted me to do weak material about his passing. So that's the bit. But uh, he was best friends with Don Rickles when he was a kid. For two years, they walked back and forth to school together. You're the, only, the last person on earth who hasn't heard the story, but this is true. Mm. Wow. So he's the same age as my dad would have been. Wow. 89. Wow. And he's still touring. Yeah. But I actually got to meet him once at the Ameri Remember the American Comedy Awards many, many years yes, ago? Yes, yes. I said, Don Rickles, my dad, Larry Kindler, he used to walk to school with you every day when you were a kid. He goes, uh, great, tell Larry we'll have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and then two weeks later, I worked, got to meet him on like, some shoot that Comedy Central was doing. I said, uh, Mr. Rickles, my name is Andy Kindler. I just met you a couple weeks ago. My dad, Larry Kindler, really did walk back and forth with you to school. He goes, yeah, yeah, I remember he had a blue jacket. <laughs> And then he sent me and my dad, and I'm not lying, like a week later, eight by tens. One to my dad, dear Larry, have a ball. And then, dear Andy, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad loved it. It was fantastic. That's so nice. I got, I got, the, Isn't it? Yes. I got the kind of meet uh, Rodney Dangerfield once. Mm. And, uh, and he didn't meet me at all. I just shook his hand. He went, all right, all right, all right. Good luck with that. All right, all right. And it was like a line of people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just I felt so it. like, all right, good, good luck, kid. All right. Hi, my name is good. Good for you. All right. I love it. <laughs> so great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> he just dismissed me. I was like number 22. You know, oh, I was like, my God. Uh, uh, so I was like, count. <laughs> I, oh, I love your, I love that. He also, he's the guy, he had the best. A setup line ever written. His line was, "I'm okay now, but last week was rough." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, so now is okay, but last week I had some problems. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man! All right, Andy, we have taken up enough of your valuable time, my friend. Hey, I like to. I I just appreciate you pretending I have valuable time. Oh, <laughs> Andy, I love you, man. Andy Kindler, if you haven't seen him, you're just not. You're not cool. No, you're, you're not here. I hope I get yeah, to yeah. meet Susie Berlin next I, week. I think we got to send her over there. You're gonna love her. Everybody does. Uh, she's gonna be on the lady. We came up with a very original name for uh, our show. It's called Funny Ladies. Oh my! And can can I do a, a an off stage announcement like Jerry Lewis? Yes, Funny please do. Funny ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. <laughs> All right. Do you want to you want to uh, plug any of your social media? You could add uh, tens of people to your Twitter people. At you... Andy Kindler is the best. Unless you want to, if you want to go to my website and see what my tour dates were like in 2004. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but at Andy Kindler is the main place. Uh, Andy Kindler never again that's tour. Fair. Okay. That's, that's right. That's great. Half a house tour. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Andy. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. This is Boston Comedy Festival Radio, right here on 1510 WMEX.